Hi everyone and welcome back to Notes from Josephine. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the button, hit the bell. You're going to want to know all about perfume because that's all we talk about here. It's the weekend and on the weekend I like to know that there are perfumes I can just grab and go. I don't have to think about it too much. They're going to be right everywhere. They're not beast mode siage. I don't want that on the weekend. I really don't want people to say, ooh, nice perfume. I just want them to think, damn, that smells good, and to realize that's me. I've pulled out a bunch of easy grab perfumes from my collection, and I'm going to share them with you now. Not going to go through the notes in detail. If you don't know about Fragrantica.com, get your butt on there. Start a free account, start leaving your own reviews. Um, it's, it's the Bible of perfume. I'm on it all the time. That's where you can find a list of notes, reviews, and you can really research the perfume in detail. I have a bunch, so I'm not gonna take that much time today. The first perfume is Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture. Mm, almost everybody knows this perfume. It is a fruity floral, has kind of a caramel thing going on, some vanilla. It's light, it's not uh, too much, and it just works. It's good with food. This is a nice one. Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture. Next is Guess by Marciano. I think I've talked about this a couple of times, but I really love it. It also has kind of a caramel thing, uh, but it's smoother. It's got a lotion feeling to it as well. I love this. It's great on the weekend. I never have to wonder if it's going to be right. It's Guess by Marciano. You'll notice all of these perfumes are pretty uh, affordable. Uh, those are the perfumes I like for just grab and go. Everybody can have them. They're out there. Add them to your collection. Next, also in the caramel and kind of warm category, is gold sugar. Where's the front of the bottle? Front, front. Oh my god, if only I could see. There it is. <laughs> this is a sister to pink sugar, but this doesn't have that burnt sugar note. This is more caramel, vanilla. It too is really smooth and really easy on a weekend. This is Gold Sugar by Aqualina. Next, I'm going to move into some scents that are a little bit on the clean slash soapy side. And the first one, and I love this, is AV by Adrienne Vittadini. Adrienne Vittadini, God. It's uh, a little bit soapy, especially when you first put it on. But there's also something outdoorsy about it. This has oak moss in it, and it's that, um, to me, it's like being by a stream and there's some mossy rocks and it's just that freshness. It's a little bit gritty. I love this, um, and it's good year round. This is AV by Adrienne Vittadini. The next one is from the Clean line, and this is clean, wait, clean cotton, cool cotton. <laughs> Oh, my kingdom for reading glasses. So this is clean, but it has a little bit of a bite to it. It's like um, you just showered with Irish spring soap. It's really, really clean, but it's good on the weekend. And it too goes everywhere. This is Cool Cotton by Clean. Another one from the Clean line that I think is really a great grab and go is skin. This is kind of a very light, um, musky sort of scent. Um, it layers great with anything, I swear to God. And it just wears really well. Good lasting power, not great sillage. It is a skin scent, which you would expect from a perfume called Skin by Clean. Staying in the musk theme, there are a couple of musks that I love to just throw on. This is Bath & Body Works White Musk. It's a very uh, straightforward white musk, and it kind of has a freshness to it, 
also, so it's not a dirty musk by any means, but more of a clean, fresh sort of musk. I really like this one. It's, it's a go-to for a lot of different things. I've put a good dent in this bottle. It is white musk from uh, the body shop. Did I say Bath and Body Works? No, oh, body shop. The next musk is the OG Jovan musk. Oh my God, I love this. Now you have to be careful about this because um, I ordered this on Amazon and got a complete and total dupe, which was such a bummer. If you can find the bottle with the ridges like this, you'll know it's the original Jovan musk. I love this. I've been wearing this since high school. Hello. It's been out there a long time and it is still fabulous. It's a little bit heavier on the jasmine than say the body shops, uh, white musk, but it's really beautiful. This is Jovan musk for women. Yum. Next is a, uh, fresh and floral, uh, perfume. This is Fiori by Vince Camuto. It's been said to be a dupe for um, Chanel Chance Autant, and it kind of is. It has that same kind of feeling, like a dressed up, uh, fresh, fruity floral. The thing that saves this is it's really light. It's not formal at all, but it does have a different feeling than the ones I've named. It has a little bit more uh, floral oomph to it. It's really pretty. This is Fiori by Vince Camuto. Mm, I like that one. Next is She from Alfred Sung. It's kind of a weird bottle. I'm not, not sure how, how I feel about the top of it, but this is good. It's a um, dry sort of fresh. It leans a little bit masculine, uh, which sometimes is just perfect. I just love this. This uh, I'm picking up some freesia and some green freshness. Um, again, it's not a sweet perfume, but it is clean. This is She by Alfred Sung. Celebrity perfumes were meant to be grab and go perfumes. And there's a couple that I really, really like. Um, one is Moonlight by Ariana Grande. This is what the bottle looks like. It has this puffy thing that goes with it, but I'm not putting it on. I'm sorry. <laughs> Life is too short. This is nice though. This is like a, a grape soda. It has a little bit of sparkle to it and a little bit of uh, sweetness, but not like sweet, like candy sweetness. Um, but it's perfect for grab and go. Works absolutely anywhere. This is Moonlight by Ariana Grande. The last perfume that I can't seem to do a video without talking about is Rihanna Nude. Oh, I love this. And uh, that's what I have on today. It's just my absolute go-to for a grab and go perfume. It's uh, bubbly and bubble gummy. Um, it's got fruit and floral and it just uh, has a nice base. It lasts really well on my skin. I love it. This is Nude by Rihanna. So these are just a few grab and go perfumes that I love. If you're collecting perfume, make sure you have a bunch of these in your collection. You'll use them a ton. Thanks for joining me. Remember to keep smelling great, especially on the weekend. And I will see you again real soon in